vision of Bionaut Labs is to completely revolutionize the treatment of disorders of the central nervous system. We aim to do this by introducing a new medical modality, remote-controlled therapeutic micro-robots. We call them the Bionauts. The best analogy that comes to mind for a Bionaut is a spaceship with therapeutic cargo. The Bionaut is able to freely travel in a safe and predictable fashion to anywhere in the nervous system. This facilitates safe and predictable delivery of a therapeutic payload, and it allows for the return and the recovery of the bot. This gives the physician access to previously inaccessible parts of the nervous system. The nervous system is exquisitely designed to protect itself from outside influences. This presents a problem for many traditional therapies as they're not able to safely reach their disease targets. This type of stuff is crazy to me. So that's Bionaut Labs uh, and they have a micro robot. It's made from Bionaut Labs. Okay, so it's designed, it's robot, it's little robot, which is very tiny, it's designed to reach, it's designed to reach parts of the human body, like in the brain, nervous system, places that it couldn't, that doctors, surgeons can't go before that would normally be like, well, that's an inoperable cancer or whatever condition you have, can't do anything about it. I hope you're okay. Good luck, bro. That's soon to be a thing of the past. Let's go into how this works a little bit, really fast. So as a miniature capsule, it's injected into a patient's spine and finds its way into the brain where a fast growing tumor threatens imminent or painful death. And then when it gets locked into its target, the robotic capsule releases a payload of targeted chemotherapy directly into a tumor, if that's a particular problem, then it heads for home. And so this tiny Bionaut robot is smaller, more agile and far safer than the average neurological tool. It's controlled from outside the body using an external magnetic device and has a tiny remote controlled compartment that carries the drug and can be opened on command. This is crazy. There's more to this, but I want to get your thoughts on it because if we can get these types of things to inject into people and it gets rid of certain diseases and issues that may that they may have, it's amazing. But then again, they're starting these trials maybe in a year or two, and we'll see how that goes out first before we really get going. Yeah, I had two reactions to this. So one is a Canadian. This is like I think of this. This is amazing. This is incredible technology. This is a you know surgery on the brain. Of course, is incredibly invasive. I actually have a close family member that recently had work done on on his brain, and something like this would have you know made the process a lot a lot more streamlined. But then I think of the American perspective. How much is this going to cost? Like, is this <laughs> is this for everybody, or is there going to be limitations on this? Like, so you know, that's that's where my brain goes. Uh, you know, the one side, technology is amazing. The other side, this clearly, I think, would be pretty expensive. Innovation continues and continues, and I hope that you know there's a way we can pair it with accessibility. Because again, this is amazing, and whoever can or will be able to have some kind of access to this, you would hope it wouldn't just be for folks who can afford it or who have. Exorbitant amounts of money. Really fast, look at this picture of how small this thing is. Do we have that image up next to the penny? Because that's, I'll just show you the, the, the scale here uh, of that thing. Of course, it's in the red circle there, and we all know the size of a penny. Um, so that's the amazing part. I, I, I mean, if you're trying to save your life, it's worth trying. It's an amazing thing. Uh, technology grows. 